Okay, so this is this is which problem? This is page uh, two forty two number six. Okay, so if they give us point A, is that and you can see my screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Negative one zero two, and B is the point four one one, and C is the point negative two two zero. Then we can find the the. Um, do you remember how like if you've got if you've got an x an x1 y1 and an x2 y2 how do i find the distance between them um i, I think it's the square root of x squared and then something y squared okay roughly um so what you're doing is if you've got if you've got a point and a point you want to find that distance what we're doing here is this is the this is the change in your x value this is the change in your y value and then this is that distance between them, and so it's Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and then what works with um, when you move that into three dimensions, let's see if I can draw this well. If we're going, here's my box-ish. If we're trying to go from this point to, say, this point, right, can you see what I'm describing here? If this yeah. is, that maybe, oh, go away. Um, if this is the X and this is the Y and this is the Z, then what we have here is we're going to find we're going to find this piece right here using the X squared, the, dis, the change in X and the change in Y. Does that make sense? This is yes. the square root of X squared plus Y squared. Well, then if this is right here, the square root of X squared plus that's a squared plus Y squared, mm -hmm. then I have to do, then I've got this triangle. Let's use another color. This this and then here it comes across the way. Do you see what I'm describing there? And then you would do z the square root of z squared in that middle line. Yes. Squared. Yes. And so then do you know do you remember what this final answer would be? No. Okay, so if I take z squared plus the square root of x squared plus y squared and I square that, and that's equal to um, let's call it k because that's my favorite letter, k squared. So it'd be and, x squared plus y squared plus c squared. And that's the square root of all of that, yes. So that would equal, oh goodness, I keep doing things that I don't intend to do. Um, that would equal, yeah, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Can you see it on that, on that box? Does that make sense how that works? Okay, mm -hmm. so that's basically what we're using here, but instead of using just x, y, and z, you want the difference, the change in. So if you're trying to find if you're trying to find the length of a b, then we'll say that's the square root of well four minus a negative one squared plus one minus zero squared plus one minus two squared. Oh, that makes sense. And then I would do that for all the lines. Then you would do that for all of them. And then once you get okay, so what's this first one? That's a uh, five. So this is twenty five plus one plus one. So twenty seven. Mm -hmm. yeah. which I'm going to just say that this is three root three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, then we'll do it for the other ones. But then what happens is, well, maybe we should do it for the other ones. Um, hang on. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, that moved too much. Let me try again. Okay. Then um, if we do, what's the next one? Um, BC or AC is um, so we have they're six apart for x value they're one apart they're one apart so six squared thirty six plus one plus one is thirty eight mm -hmm. okay and then um, AC would be the other thing that we need so these um, are one apart that's two apart that's two apart so two squared is four plus four plus one is nine did I go too fast no I got that okay which is three which is three. And so now to find, now you've got your triangle where A, B, C, and you know that A, B is three root three. Mm -hmm. You know that A, C is three, and you know that B, C is root 38. And now you can do the law of cosine to find the measure of, what are they looking for? They're wanting you to a find the measure of angle A, B, C. Okay, so I get that now. I would use the law of cosine to find that. Okay. And now you could use the law of cosine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. That You're really so helped. Welcome. Was that helpful?
Yeah, it really was, especially with the um the x squared, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Did I talk about that in any of my videos? I didn't find it in the video. Maybe I like like because I played 